Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Netherlands campaign in Victoria 3. And it makes quite a change um, from our United States campaign. And looking at the United States, what is this? <laughs> this is horrendous to look at. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. That is horrendous to look at. Really bad indeed. Uh, but we are doing relatively well. Our colonization is going so slowly, however. It's a little bit annoying that Britain managed to take uh, Fang. And they're going to move into Dar al Kuti up here as well, which is also quick uh, colonization. So they're pretty much going to get this sort of sliver. But if we can uh, take down here, that would be fantastic. Problem being, look at the time it's taking. 7,000 days, guys. We are getting malaria prevention, which should pretty much supersonic speed us with our colonization over here but yeah it's not great at the minute i really don't want to be behind i mean we dominate this part of western africa which is one good thing one really good thing but this is just an absolute disaster over here isn't it it is a pure and utter mess it is really really messy um but i've noticed since the update we have had an update since we last played and our declared interest now, we only get three, which we used to have more. We definitely used to be able to, yeah, we definitely used to have more, uh, but th I'm pretty sure we did anyway. But the update has re removed one, which makes things a lot harder for colonization. We can't expand quite as far. Uh, and as you can see, we don't have our Southern American interest declared anymore. So we can't even colonize down here anymore, which is quite a big problem i would say however unless these guys rebel against us we're not going to be colonizing down there for a while uh in terms of our buildings all that sort of thing we're doing okay get another tooling workshop getting some ports in the places that we need them railways paper mills glassworks shipyards and then a few farms furniture manufactories textile mills and cotton plantations um it makes a big change having, in our American one, we now have 150 construction capacity. And now we're back down to 20. Uh, but that's fine. Let's press play. Peace treaty between France and Lindy. France is just expanding massively. That's another big issue that we are going to have is battling France in the colonial game. And we are definitely not strong enough to take any of these guys on directly at all. Uh, that's going to become a huge, huge issue. So we have shortages of silk. That's one major problem. But let's have a look at whether we can import a bit of silk. Um, 45 from Vietnam. I mean, thank you very much. We'll take that, definitely. That won't... Uh, yeah, that's not quite going to get us out of the deficit. But that's okay. Tools-wise, we're starting to get up to even. And we want more tools... Than there are uh, than there are needed in the market, definitely. Um, yeah, we 100% do so that it's cheap, so that our workers can work in our factories and they want to be hired, um, and it's cheap for them to work. So their standard of living comes up. Look at our standard of living, though; it's taken a huge tumble, and that is most likely because of the places that we have conquered recently, uh, with low standards of living, and we are trying to get them up to a bit of a better standard of living. Uh, something that is more appropriate for a great nation such as ourselves. 10% of the lower strata pops in Holland become more radical. That is a lot. I mean, the armed forces hate us, so it's not a problem. Yep, we got rubber as well. Ah, we got so much authority. I think what we're going to do with our authority then is we are going to destroy the armed forces that's taken 200 and then in terms of the nation in terms of the people we want to boost it's just going to be the intelligentsia and the industrialists and i think the intelligentsia most likely first so we'll bolster them and then we've got 100 authority as well but that's fine uh, we can maybe look at some other things. I'll go for a trade agreement with Britain right now because we have such a smaller market that it really doesn't matter. So, Netherlands versus Bali. I... Yeah, Bali war over here. 
I mean, there's no fronts over here. Oh, there's another one here. What's this? Dutch East Indies versus the Jambi Aristocratic Revolt. Oh, well. Um, thinking naval invasion. On to Bali, please. Let's get that sorted, and hopefully we can do it. Yeah, there's the Jambi Ar Aristocratic Revolt. We also have Siam now, which is great. Uh, I do want Dynam. I want to be able to build our own silk plantations. So, let's have a look. Livestock, sugar, rice, banana, opium. Opium would be good as well. I don't think these places... Oh, this place does. It would be good if we could take Anam. I would be very happy with that. Uh, but, unfortunately, at the minute, we have some huge amount of infamy. We've got 40 infamy. Um, so, we need to cool down a little bit. Calm down slightly. And really focus on building up our economy and our colonial game. Straight up to 17.3 million domestic product. That's fantastic. That is great to see. And our construction cap capacity is just so low right now. It's terrible. Resign that bloke. I don't care. Um, and we are on... Or we could go up to iron frame buildings. That pretty much makes us even. How are our taxes looking we're on low taxes so if we need to we can go up another level so i'm thinking that's definitely something we want to do if we can afford that that is a 100 percent something we want to do and that instantly takes us up to 45 building capacity <clears throat> which means we can build two things at once now rather than just one which is a lot better uh, we're building the port to get market access to a lot of these places and that should really help out these places with their exports, their imports, all that sort of thing. Uh, and getting the goods around our market. Yeah, I don't care about the trade unions too much. Uh, but we are good. Okay, so... Uh, looks like we lost the naval invasion. Or did we get onto the land there, though? Doesn't look like we landed. Do they... Yeah, they, they're fine with a with a white piece. I'm um, obviously I don't want to fight China right now still. It's fine. Our infamy should have ticked down from that a bit. Yeah, down to 29. That is fine. Rubber has been discovered in Togo. Fantastic. We should get queuing a few of those. Ah, we can't quite build it yet because we don't have the tech. That's fine. It's not gonna be that useful just yet. Um I'm happy to let these ports start building, or finish building, should I say. It's just very annoying that Britain... Britain has kind of got the jump on us in the colonial game in a lot of places, and it really is quite annoying. Um, and this area, just look at that. That is a horrendous mess. <laughs> that is really, really messy. That border gore is kind of jarring, honestly. <laughs> look at that, France. That is a horrible, horrible border. Disgusting. <laughs> this is okay. That is terrible. That is just unacceptable. <laughs> These little bits of Portugal, Denmark, and Britain down here as well. Like, this this is disgusting as well. Brunei back down. Uh, what have Britain done then? Okay, we now have guaranteed liberties. The armed forces hate it, but we hate them, so that's fine. Uh, although, we do rely on them <laughs> to save us. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no. Let's have a look. Are uh, there anything else we want to... We could go for total separation. The armed forces and the church oppose it, but... As I say, I don't care too much about them. Professional army's good. Uh, yeah, public schools is fantastic. I'm fine with mercantilism for now. Interventionism is also fine. There's nothing really there that we want to change. Uh, could go for propertied women. Uh, armed forces hate it even more. Landowners oppose it. Uh, I'm happy. I want to try and keep the landowners happy for now. Seeing as they do have such a large amount of power. Uh, but the landowners don't like that either. So for laws for now, we will just leave them all be. We don't need to change anything. Our nation is prospering and in good stead. So we really don't need to change anything. Let's have a look at whether we can incorporate a few states. Um, let's go to state actions, incorporate. Yeah, there's a lot of states we can incorporate because we've got a lot of spare bureaucracy. We might as well use it all up. Oh, that's actually taken as negative. 
So let's, I don't want any more construction sectors. Actually, in fact, I might do, you know, I might do, I might get one more construction sector. And let's have a look at that. Oh, it's so much quicker now that we have two things building simultaneously rather than one. Might build another construction sector depending on how much cash this is going to take. 18k expenses for that extra construction sector. That seems rather obscene. Uh, let's have a look. Do we have any low tax regions? We have low market access. Uh, but that's fine. Inefficient tax capacity in Holland. Cool. So... Let's build... Wait, government administrations. Am I being... Wait, am I being really dumb here? What? Uh... Am I being incredibly dumb? Um... Urban center level 9. That's quite good. Yeah. Wait, we need... We've invented bureaucracy. We don't have the, tra the technology bureaucracy. What? What is going on there? I'm going to switch over to that because obviously we need that. What? I don't know. I think that's because we've loaded in after an update. But that is broken. <laughs> that is quite broken. Um, and let's build a few more construction sectors. And I'm thinking two more. Well, do we go all the way to ten? I think two more will be fine for now. Let's go for two more then. Uh, and of course, we need to uh, bring them all all the way up to the top. There we are. Fantastic. Very quick to build. Now we can build three ro three uh, runs at a time, which is fantastic. Um, and then with these two extra construction sectors, we should be fine. Do we have any peasants to man them, though? That is one thing I should have checked. Yeah, 230,000 peasants. We've got a lot of Albanian people here. We've also got uh, the Miao, who are a East Asian heritage. Very cool. 8% of the population. Very nice indeed. 16k population growth, 18.5k migration. That is fantastic. 20 infrastructure from the Rhine River. Ah, cool. Well, Holland is a fantastic, fantastic uh, place to be building. Then what are we doing? We're doing railways next. Ooh, that is going to affect our bottom line a bit. But we do have a lot of cash up there. We have a lot of cash in reserve. That's cool. And we've got paper mills coming, then glassworks, then shipyards, then some rye farms, and some furniture. Um, and then we're looking at cotton plantations and textile mills. Um, I would like to... Could I not drag these? I wish I could drag them. Why can I not drag them? Yeah, it'd be a lot easier to just drag these. <laughs> but we kind of need the cotton plantations before the textile mills, but oh well. It'll go the wrong way around. That'll be fine. Okay. Radical Columbia. Interesting. Oh, look at that. New Granada and Radical... Radical Columbia is a lot bigger. But I'm guessing New Granada has the cities. Well, not over this way. That is the capital state. So they will have the power, even though uh, Radical Columbia seems like it's got a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, land. I don't think it'll be that powerful. Uh, we'll keep on improving with Britain. Where's that disappeared to? And France. Yeah, Britain are neutral. That's not great. We'd quite like to uh, improve with the Heavenly Kingdom, honestly. <laughs> See if they can get uh, on our side against Great Ching. Uh, so our construction sectors have not cost us that much money. So we're on 61 now. Uh, yeah, I think we go for 10. 
And then we'll have... It'll be 13 overall. Make it 14. 13's a horrible number. <laughs> yeah, make it 14. And I, we might start going negative, but that's fine. Like I said, we're already uh, on lower taxes, which is great. Uh, and look at that. Our standard of living's taken a big bump upwards as well. So has our GDP. Look at that. Fantastic. 12th overall now. Radicals going down slightly. Loyalists up slightly. Ah, it's looking, it's looking decent. We do just need to chill, like I said. Uh, let's get on to the building. Let's make sure that we get these uh, construction sectors all the way to the top once again. Get them built. Only three weeks to build them. And then those railways and all that sort of thing will build very quickly indeed. That is a huge increase in our construction. We've gone from 20 to 60 now. So that update must have made it a bit cheaper to build, I guess. Uh, and now we can run three with pretty uh, a great amount of construction capacity on each one as well. That's fantastic. Um, low market access. Yeah, Dahomey. You've already got two ports over here. I guess we'll queue a railway in there as well. Infrastructure usage is higher. Yeah, so we need that railway. And then we've got Dutch Guyana. Ah, oh, that's that's annoying. Go for one more port. Then we'll go for Dutch Malaya. Uh, how much is the difference there? 32 to 16. That's quite a big difference. And it's in very much a lot of turmoil. And we've got Bas Congo. And I guess we'll uh, just add a port onto that. Yeah, that'll be fine. Fantastic. Good. Okay, what's going on over here then? Bremen is fighting the Bremian Peasant Revolt. I guess France doesn't like peasants, seeing as they're supporting Bremen. Uh, where is Bremen? <laughs> oh. It's just this. Well, France, you can, you can have your fun with that. Um, <laughs> we're just going to ignore it for now. The one reason I do really want to go after China is just that population. We've got 9 million, which is not many at all. One of these, one of these regions would double our population. Large numbers of North Italian people, they have obsessions with wine and coffee, <laughs> are going to our state in Holland. Cool. Awesome. Socialism unlocked. Bureaucracy, come on. 12 weeks left. We need to get it back on the malaria prevention pathway. Yeah, look how slow we are colonizing down here. It's ridiculous. And then we're not even... Oh, no. What's this? Oh, Chile is going to take Tehelhueque. I, I, yeah, that's definitely not how you say that, but okay. <laughs> um, and Mapuche... Yeah, that's fine. We should follow their advice. I mean, we're going to have our little enclaves down here. And I'm thinking the southern tip of South America will be good for us. Lots of livestock, lots of logging. And we'll do plenty good with that. And a bit of mining as well down there. And some gold mines in Chile. So, yeah, it's definitely something we want to explore. Someone did suggest that we take Madagascar. But like I said before... Okay, finally. Bureaucracy. <laughs> Oh, that, that's ridiculous. Six years left on malaria prevention. That's good. Um, but like I said before, with our real lack... Okay, now we've got an extra declared interest. I'm going to declare back down here because we need to keep colonizing. And they should start seeing progress soon. As you can see, the Argentinian colonies are going so much faster than ours. Uh, we really do need to uh, start progressing that. Yeah, look at Chile go. Oh, God. Uh, no, I don't want to cancel that. Uh, and once we've uh, filled out this region, we'll go after Chile ourselves, hopefully at some point, if we're strong enough. We are not the strongest right now. Military-wise, we have 30 regulars. That's actually quite a lot. Thinking about recruiting another general. Uh, not the Congo. We'll go for the Rhine HQ. It's got 13 men to command. Uh, traditionalist, experienced, inspirational orator, and innovative. 
He's part of the church. I think we'll keep the uh, landowners happy for now. We shouldn't have that much discrimination because we have multiculturalism. Yeah, we got multiculturalism, so we shouldn't have much discrimination. So that plus 50% from discrimination shouldn't really affect us. I think there's still a little bit of discrimination against those who do not speak Dutch. Um, but it's a lot better than what it once was. Wilhelm van Oranje... Oranje Nassau. Oranje... How would you say that in Dutch? Oranje? Orange? Oranje? Nassau. Uh, but yeah, he's an alcoholic. He's an expert political orator. He's an experienced diplomat. He's a grifter. Um, expert colonial administrator, which is great for us. And he's a romantic. Yeah, our government is waning in legitimacy right now. What was that? I just heard something. Oh, Holland is inefficient still. I knew I wasn't being mad before when I, there was no government administration here. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, two more. And we will queue them up at the top. So let's get those up. There you are. Large numbers of Aboriginal... I can't speak today. What is going on with me? <laughs> Large numbers of Aboriginal people have gone to Gelray. That's fine. Uh, that's great, actually. Look, 6% Aboriginal. And the Mao people again. They love coming to our lands, which is great. More people. 282,000 migration, guys. 300,000. That's obscene. That's what we love to see. Look at that. Look at that spike in our population there. Fantastic. Lots of people are actually um, impoverished. I'm guessing that's because of 63,000 peasants. Nah. <coughs> Probably that. Excuse me, guys. Got a little bit of a tickly cough. Now we're on the minus 19,000. That is fine, though. I'm not too bothered by that because we have such a huge amount of um, of banked up money there. So let's get this government administration. How much bureaucracy? 153 just from one. That's actually obscene. That's pretty good. Um, how are we going? France is cordial. I wonder whether we could get an alliance with France eventually. Proposed trade agreement. No. Formed defensive pact. 76. We're neighbors. French army power prediction. Minus 100. Plus 50 French attitude. If we can get that to good, that'll be fantastic. Russia abandoned somewhere, but okay. Diplomatic play. Lots of, like, little rebellions going on. Radical Hesse versus Hesse. And we've got uh, Hesse Castle versus revolutionary Hesse Castle. Great. <laughs> that is quite funny, to be fair. As I said, this episode is just going to be about building our resources back up and building our economy. And look at that. Straight up to 11th. Uh, from a lot of this building that we're doing. And that's predominantly because we now have 76 construction. Where we started the day with a whole 20. Which is terrible. Uh, we need furniture. We need clothes. We need fruit. Oh my god. Tools has suddenly become a huge issue. That for one is something that needs to be rectified straight away. And I talked about this a lot in, my, uh, in the USA campaign. But what... I really want to move towards is becoming a proactive economy rather than a reactionary one. Because at the minute, we are very much a reactionary economy. We are reacting to the market being in deficit and then sorting it out rather than making the market being surplus and leaving it for a time until it balances itself out and then building more for the surplus. But we will get those tooling workshops in there straight away. And you can see 23 weeks, not too bad to get those done. Um, our research is on the way. It's still five years left, but I can't wait until we get that. Come on, France. Give us that trade agreement. Now you know you want a defensive pack, don't you? 51. 
they're amicable. Uh, but yeah, we uh, we will keep on improving with them as we can. Let them celebrate, of course. Free government reform. A minute. I mean, we got. <sighs> this is fine. This is fine. I'm not too bothered about changing the government around too much. I think if the more you play with it, the more effects it will have on them, the more angry they will get. But here goes uh, here goes Bavaria versus Radical Hesse. Bavaria doesn't like a radical neighbor. Yeah, resign that bloke. I don't care. Population growth. Seen 300,000 come recently, which is great. Look at that migration. North Italian and the Meow again. Albanian, Athabascan, Aboriginal, Sorb, Mande again, Afro-American, come to the Netherlands, Albanian, Meow, North Italian. I just, like, this isn't really, like, it's important if you, uh, I quite like the squares. It's, it's important if you are discriminating against people. It's not so important anymore. It really doesn't matter that much. However, it is just interesting I love seeing the population demographic changes in this place. Got more North Italian people there. Kikuyu? Awesome. Uh, Burma sided with Perak in a diplomatic play against Great Britain. What's this one? Dutch East Indies is fighting again. Whatever. Go and fight, my friends. Uh, make sure you win, though. Oh, what is Britain doing here? We're going to fight Perak. Okay, I mean, I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. This is actually our state here. Which is good. It's 500,000 people in this state. Good lord. That is a lot. The railways, they'll be done last. Uh, getting market access in some of these places is not so important. Fishing, they got rubber, coal mines, logging camps, sugar, coffee. No silk, though. We need rubber mastication in order to build it. But that's fine. That is no problem whatsoever. Uh, how is our colonization doing down here? I wish it would show us still. It's about 200 days time. Yeah. I mean, Chile has well and truly beaten us to it. But, you know, Chile, you might have another thing coming soon. In fact, when I say soon, I mean potentially now. What sort of army? 10 battalions. We can field 20, and our battalions will be better. So, well, Chile, I think it's time. I think it's time. This will be our land. It's an easy target. A lot less border gore. I want to take Patagonia. I want this land for hours. I also lost Rios. Where is the gold mines? Is it up here? Yeah. It's up in Santiago. I mean, I want to take every single state off them. Uh, who can join? Britain, just Britain pretty much. Argentina and Paraguay as well. That is not a problem. Um, as long as Britain doesn't join, we will be fine. I would like to conquer Aronci... Yeah. Uh, Aronciana. I'm gonna just... I think I'm gonna just take the infamy hits again. And we're gonna conquer them fully. Uh, this will uh, be our land. Uh, and you can see, let's have a look at the population over here. They've only got 1 million, but it's going to add... That's another 10% onto our nation in terms of people. Let's mobilize you, my friend. Uh, we'll come here, and we will uh, go there. And then you, my friend. That is the... This looks like it's the only border we actually do have with Chile. So it's going to be a r relatively tough war. 60 days until they get there. It's going to take them a while, but that's fine. We've got more declared interest, do we? Interesting. Cool. Well, I think the best one that we can do right now is that. So, and then we can most likely start establishing some colonies down here. It's just... I don't think... If we look at the state... Yeah, severe malaria. We need to get our technology done as soon as possible. But I think we will just bang on someone there. Because our colony takes... So long to do. See, why is France only on 680 days? Russia on 123 days. Colonial growth generated by the Netherlands is 0.24. There's is 2.08. Ah, 
Oh, it's because of the people. The amount of people. We have so little people. 2.1.9% colonial growth from 5.48 million incorporated population. This is then split between nine colonies. So, yeah, probably colonizing down here will not be good. But Russia in on the action over here. Very shocking. I don't like that at all. Um, we might just have to give up this region then. I mean, we have here. If we can sort of tendril our way inland. But this southern African region is going to be ours as soon as we get our technology done. Uh, and then we won't have any of the effects from severe malaria. 20 days. No one's joining. We might have to do it all through conquest, which for such a small nation is not ideal. Um, but <laughs> it's something that we can do. So uh, it's also oh, Britain has colonized out here in Tonga and stuff. I was going to say, that's always a good place to colonize because you can colonize really quickly. Get some free population very nicely. Look at that. 11th in the world for our economy. But honestly, I think we're going to fall behind in our race for Africa. So Asia might be the one that we want to really focus on going forward. And most likely China, honestly. Fighting China will be a massive thing. Oh, God damn, Russia, stop establishing colonies right next to us. There they are. And they can colonize so quickly because of their massive population. War with Chile has broken out. All they want is war reps. Uh, but we will assault them. We will go forward. Come on, boys. Let's go. Fight them. Uh, let's see how this first battle goes because this is really going to be a marker. And it looks very much like we are losing. They have regular troops. Let's have a look. Line infantry, shrapnel artillery, standardized. That's shrapnel artillery. That's I don't think that's something we have. Yeah, they've got better artillery than us, but we have better infantry. Yeah, cool. I mean, as long as we can sort of get the... Uh, start dominating them a little bit, we will be fine. We just need to win a few raising concerns over here. What's this? Intelligentsia and the industrialists are both very happy, so it doesn't matter too much. God, we're losing again. Really? Wow. Really? <clears throat> That's shocking, really. It is also mountainous terrain. That's one problem. <sighs> Might not have been the war that we wanted to take, then. I mean, I guess we can just defend. Let's have a see. Okay, we're going to win this one. That's good. I think it's... Uh, I think it'll be fine. I honestly do think it'll be fine. Worst comes to worst, we uh, naval invade them in uh, Santiago. Well, I think we're going to do that anyway. William de Gear. Because once we take their capital state, they'll start ticking down very quickly. Uh, and they can't split their army, because that's one army. They only have one army. But anyway, guys, our war with Chile has broken out. We are building. We are expanding. Looks like France and Britain are at it again, fighting, as usual. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.